Yes, good evening to you, Vanessa. The white van and the big, big van you see there behind me are just two of the four that had their catalytic converters stolen from them this week. And law enforcement says that this is not just a problem here in Bellevue, but it is countywide. At Boeing Field Friday, a rescue mission. As Seattle Humane took in over a dozen cats from Mississippi. We have a number of them available on our website right now. A trip that Brandon Max from Seattle Humane says almost yeah, didn't happen. In the early morning on Thursday, March 4th, uh, somebody pulled into our parking lot, got out and proceeded to cut and steal uh, the catalytic converters from four of our transport vehicles. Law enforcement says catalytic converters are often stolen in just minutes. It's part of the exhaust system and every car since 1974 has one and thieves often use it to sell precious metals within the converter. Seattle Humane isn't alone. Authorities say throughout King County, this is becoming a big problem. Preliminary data from Seattle Police shows the rise in catalytic converter thefts jumped from 13 in 2019 to over 700 in 2020, and already 123 through January. It's against the law to drive without it, so you need to have it on there. Captain Daryl McKinney from Bellevue PD says 2021 is off to an alarming start. We're already up to 38 through the first two months. I mean, it's really going through the roof. Bellevue stats show just one converter theft in 2019 to 62 in 2020. McKinney adds the spikes seem to correlate with when quarantines began. All the businesses closed up. These didn't have a place to go steal. And now all of a sudden, any car that's made after 1974 has a catalytic converter on it. They're everywhere. Meanwhile, Brandon says despite the theft, the work continues. It's not going to stop us at the end of the day from fulfilling our mission of saving lives and completing families. Now, Brandon also adds that they are looking into some other potential measures about better protecting some of those vans so this does not happen again. They were able to take three of them over to a local auto shop in Issaquah uh, to get it fixed. It's, it was going to be quoted at them as costing as much as $1,600 for each one, so certainly not cheap. They were able to get a bit of a deal and discount there. But that is the latest information we have for you for now here live in Bellevue. I'm Tony Black, King 5 News.